Kippy from kippyathome.com. Welcome to my channel in my home. I'm so glad you're joining me tonight as I show y'all how I crafted this cute Santa gnome. So Merry Christmas and let's get started. All right, we're gonna start out. This is my inspiration. This is a gnome I made last year. Made the little hat out of felt, but this year we're gonna make it out of fabric. So there, I'm gonna do a little white beard for Santa. But that cute little fabric that's on there, I'll put a link to that below. And here's the pattern I use, and that's my pattern on my website. And I'll put the link to that, and you can cut out the beard with that pattern. And always remember to cut it from the wrong side so you don't cut through the fur, just try to cut the cloth part that's the back. So you, know, you can mark it out on there, or you can just pin it and do it. And then here is my pom-pom maker and you can make any size you want and I decided I'd use this little textury yarn it makes real cute pom-pom you'll see that in a minute and here's I've already cut out my hat I'm going to do my hat out of the fabric because it is fun you know the kids will like it for Santa now this pattern it's also on my website and I'll put the link to that below too is to make the felt hat but this one we're going to make a little different here's some of the elements I'm going to use um, here's my little nose and I'll put the link to that below so you can get that that nose doesn't have a hole through it those round wooden balls um, so they're they're a lot nicer to make them out of so the socks and the rice I got at the Dollar Tree so I'm just gonna pin this because I've already cut my triangle and it's as you can see I cut it in perfect and it doesn't matter it turns out great so I'm pinning the first one to the second one, and then I'm actually just going to glue them together. But pinning them, and then just cutting them, um, I, what I did is I, I did a 9 inch across the bottom, and I did it 15 inches long. So you can do the same thing, and I will be putting a, a pattern, I will put it so you can print it out, and you don't have to uh, measure anything. So just go ahead and um, cut one and then cut the other one or you could you know fold it in half and cut both of them at the same time that's not important but um, just getting them so they are, are mates to each other um, cutting them from the salvage edge which is the one that's not raw also makes them a little neater on that edge that's something else you can do to make it a little neater and I'm just using my little arrow hot glue gun and I'm gonna glue these little edges together and just right sides together and just keep it as close as you can you know and once it dries you know it hardens and you can turn it inside out you can also sew it and I love to sew but I was just trying to make this a no sew pad um, pattern and and craft so very simple you can be sitting at the kitchen table with the kids putting the rice in or you can be doing this craft at you know the community center or wherever but it's very simple don't even have to bring any kind of machinery just a, just the glue gun and I'll put the link to my favorite glue gun below all right now I'm using my seriously cold my sick cup it is about 48 ounces and I'm going to fill it up with rice one and a half times and what I'm going to do is take my sock and I'll put the link below of the sock that I have so you get the right size that'll fit this particular cup and this amount of rice so you're going to stretch it up over there and it's the easiest way I found that rice isn't going everywhere and you don't have to have any strange um, pieces of something that you might not have at your house like a certain kind of funnel or something so and I kind of work the rice down into the sock and I kind of want to stretch it to give him a nice round body because if he's like a tall body he will not you know stay stable and, and stand up so that was one time and now I filled up another half a time and I do the same procedure where I stretch it over there and kind of work it down very um, simple procedure but it can be a bit messy I'm right I'm satisfied with the size and the shape so now I'm going to just secure it with, with a rubber band and once I get the rubber band on there good and tight I cut a little bit of that sock off and it's okay if you leave it because it'll just fill up inside the hat then that's okay but I feel I cut it off and I added a little hot glue to just kind of double secure the inside of that and you can see on my blog I've, I've got step by step with photographs on there and you can see exactly how I how I made the gray one that I showed you in the beginning so then I'm gonna glue that down I just want it to be a little bit neat so that is a wrap on that and y'all know that I had my fur cut out already and I decided to use white since it's Santa and Santa's beard is supposed to be snow white so I 
decided to use white and I'm gonna just hot glue this on I use my pattern and you can download from my site and this one I'm showing you that this fur is a wee bit different and I can put the link to that too and you can get this in different colors but this little white fur is what I chose to use on this one so I'm gonna hot glue it on there and then I'm gonna add my little wooden nose and then the hat I want to plan where I'm putting Mr. Gnome, Santa Claus Gnome's nose, so I kind of um, move it around there, and I refer back to the gnomes I've made in the past also to kind of see where they are. But the hat is going to come down over, a little bit over the nose, and I glue the hat to the, to the you know, top of the nose, but I need to get the nose exactly where I want it first. So you might want to, before you actually glue the nose on there, is to kind of hold the hat and kind of, you know, decide where the nose is going to go. I've got my hat turned outside correctly and I'm going to add a wee bit of fiber fill. Not necessary um, to do that but I was just trying to get it to stand up a little bit so more of a Santa Claus hat look. I'm going to turn over the edges and then I'm going to glue it down and I'm just going to kind of let those seam allowances, you know the seams where we glued it together, those seams to be on, on either side. So suppose supposedly like over his ears if he had ears would be the seams so in the center front and back would definitely you don't want to seam so i'm going to kind of glue it down over his nose and just arrange it on there and then put a couple of more spots of glue and then we're we're finished with this part of the hat i love to make pom-poms i can use any yarn that i like and i can make it any size i like i have this um, little kit that has multiple size um, pieces that you can make the pom-poms and it also has a little pattern in there little kit thing that you make tassels with any size so it's a really great buy I'll put a link to that below you definitely if you don't have one you definitely want to get one you can use it for all kinds of stuff so I'm just gonna wrap the yarn around until I feel like it's you know full enough and just cut it off tie it and cut it off and then just use it hot glue it right to um, Santa Claus's hat this little pom-pom I made kind of look makes me think of a little snowball I, I love it the little yarn texture is really pretty all right so I'm just put a little dot of hot glue on there and Santa gnome is ready for Christmas Eve ho 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 I hope you enjoyed this give us the thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out our playlist and watch all the great santa videos for all that great inspiration and have the merriest christmas ever see you soon thank you so much for staying with me and following along on my mr santa gnome i hope you'll make some and enjoy it as much as i have i know they bring a smile to my face every time i see one make sure that you visit everybody else on the collaboration and get all that good inspiration and tell them that kippy sent you and remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any of our new upcoming videos all right merry christmas see you soon